hi okay let's provide a solution very quickly x to the power 3 plus x squared equals 80 okay and every time you have this kind of problem you look at what you have on the right if it's something you can express in this form it's better you do it that way so this is x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 equals i think i can get 64 from 80 right 64 can be in this form then plus x squared now okay there will be 16 here 16 can also be in this form and this is what i wanted right so x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 now is equal to 64 is 4 to the power of 3 then 16 is 4 to the power of 2 okay so the next thing is to regroup so that this and this will be together x to the power of 3 minus 4 to the power of 3 will be there right let me group this then plus we have x squared already then this is going to become minus 4 squared then we equate this to 0 now we can apply difference of 2 cubes and difference of 2 squares we all know our difference of 2 squares let's use a squared minus b squared this is a minus b into a plus b right i think everybody knows this then if it is a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 this is difference of two cubes so to express this the identity is a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared so I'm going to express this in this form. A minus B now will be our X minus 4. So I'll write X minus 4 into A squared is going to be X squared. Then plus AB, that will be X times 4. And that will be 4X. Then plus B squared. This B squared now is going to be our 4 squared. And that is 16. Right? then plus i will go over to the difference of two squares and that's going to be x minus four into x plus four now we can equate to zero so the next step is um to factorize this is x minus four and there i have x minus four this comes out the common factor then here I still have this bracket. Okay, x squared plus 4x plus 16. Then plus I have the positive there now. X plus 4. Because x minus 4 is already out here. So we equate to 0. Now x minus 4 is already a common factor. We can open this bracket so x squared plus nothing is x squared 4x plus x that will give 5x then plus 16 plus 4 that's going to be 20 and we equate to 0. now we believe that we are having two terms the one in this and the one in this this times this is zero so either of them is zero right so x minus 4 is 0 and this means that x is equal to 0 plus 4 and then our x is simply equal to positive 4, one of the solutions. To get the other solution now, I will go back to this quadratic um, expression, okay, and then I will equate it to 0. The expression is x squared plus 5x plus 20 equals 0. 
Now, we are going to use the quadratic formula for this. So let's get our A, which is 1, our B, which is 5, and then our C, which is 20. Okay, so now, what is the formula? The formula is um, x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2 times a. Okay, so the next thing now is to just substitute into the formula. So our x will now be, in place of minus b, I'll write minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 5 squared, right? Because our b is 5, then minus 4 times 1 times 20. Because our a is 1 and our c is 20, then we divide this by 2 times 1. Now, x from here is going to be minus 5 plus or minus, we have 5 squared is 25 minus 4 times 1 times 20 that's going to be 80 then we divide this by 2 times 1 which is 2 okay let's continue okay so from here now we have our x to be minus 5 plus or minus we have minus 55 divided by 2 right now, what we're going to do is to pick out this negative from here. So, let's do that over here. We, we have x to be minus 5 plus or minus square root of, instead of writing minus 55 now, I'll write just 55, then multiply by negative 1, square root of negative 1. Then this is divided by 2. So, that x will now be minus 5 plus or minus square root of negative 1 is i so write the i before root 55 then we divide by 2 this is a 2 in 1 solution okay so let's bring the three solutions together we got the first one x1 to be equal to 4 that's the first solution that we got then our x2 the second solution is from here and that is minus 5 minus i root 55 divided by 2 then the third solution the last x3 is minus 5 plus i root 55 divided by 2 so these right here are the three solutions